So you're trying to complete the KO Perico heist finale as quickly as possible? Well today I'll show you the route I use, including a simple glitch to get some extra secondaries. Let's get into it. So obviously we're just going to start our planning screen here, start the heist. Now I will mention that this is meant for solo players, so if you have a bunch of friends, maybe look at a different tutorial. But anyway, for our approach vehicle, I like to use the Kosatka, and then if we go to Infiltration Point, the Drainage Tunnel. This just makes it really easy to get into there, not a lot of things that you have to do beforehand, not hard to avoid guards, that kind of deal. Escape Point, I like to do Main Dock, just because it's closest to the compound, very simple to get to. I do Day, it doesn't really make a difference what you do, I mean Day just makes it easier to see. Then you have the Weapon Loadout, personally, I use Aggressor with Suppressors, very simple, very easy to do. Then we have the support crew, all worthless, don't bother. Crew cuts, that only matters if you have a bunch of people. Now we can get into the heist. So now we're in the water, I'm just going to go ahead and swim over to the drainage tunnel, which is the yellow dot on our map. So we've gone ahead and made it to the drainage tunnel. From here, you're just going to use the plasma cutter you got in your setups, assuming you did that, to go ahead and break through this. We've gone ahead and made it through, so I'll just swim up into the compound. So, uh, I may or may not have just quick restarted, you can ignore that, but what we're going to do, we're going to run up here, up the stairs, then we're going to go to the left. I like to do this in first person, it just seems to go a bit quicker. You make sure to hug that wall when you run over here. Now we quickly vault over that, because there is a guard to your right that will spot you if you're not doing it quickly enough. Now we can go ahead and head up here to El Rubio's office, take out that guard, I like to wait until he stops walking. Easier target to hit. There's a guard right here, we can take him out. If you want to go upstairs a bit faster, you can ADS and hit the jump button and you will roll. Kill that guard. Now we can head into El Rubio's office. Now here's where I quick restarted, you can just ignore that because I was trying to do a glitch which I made a video on, I guess uh, two weeks ago now, and I was failing miserably at it since I'm out of practice. So we're just going to do the hack and worry about the glitch. I'll put it up in the card if you want to see the video on that in case you're interested. And just like that, we have finished the clone match hack. Now we can go ahead and head into the basement. Now I'm doing the pink diamond, so if you don't have that and you have the bearer bonds, that's what that target's called, then you'll get a safe code on your phone and you can go ahead and use that to get into the safe. But I'm using this. This process will be the same if, you're, if you have tequila as a target. So this is pretty self-explanatory. You just cut through this and we should be straight into here. We can grab the diamond. Now, once again, as part of that glitch I was talking about, it allows you to glitch into the secondary room as a solo player, so you can get more secondary targets. Now we can head back up here, head back out of the office, you can jump down the stairs to go faster. Now if you look on the map, you can see that there is one of the, I call them heavies, I don't remember what they're called, juggernauts? I believe they're called juggernauts. So I know he's going to turn over here, so I'm going to wait on him to pass before I go and try to escape the compound, since he's not something I can easily take out. Now he turns right, and it's pretty much safe to go, almost. I'm going to go slowly, but now we can go ahead and jump this railing. You can take the stairs if you're feeling like a weenie. Now we can head up over here, and it appears that we should have enough time to run over to the exit. And just like that, we're straight out of the compound. Now what I was looking for on the map there is there's one guard who stays stationary, and there's another one walking around to your left. So you have to make sure that he's not going to spot you while you're running over to the gate. Now we can go ahead and head straight out of the compound. There's going to be a guard up here to the left. Going to go ahead and deal with him. Now over here at the end of the bushes, there will be another guard. Make sure you hit him in the head and one tap him, otherwise the guards behind him will be alerted, which is not good. We can run up to here, take out these two guards. There we go. Then there's a camera, and I like to take this bike that's right here. You can take the Jeep, I suppose, or walk. Take off that. Oh, I was hoping to do that one piece, but I did not. Now what we do is, once we get to this little railing, we go to the right of it and follow this hill down to the dock. Make sure you don't get taken off your bike by a bush. I don't believe it does too much damage or takes away too much money, it's just a mild inconvenience. Head down here to the left, and if you look over into this grove of trees, you can see we can get off of here, and then that that's one of the places where you can get secondaries, so that's what I'm going to right now. There's a camera on top of it. Now there's a guard as well, kill the guard. We can go ahead and use a plasma torch or demolition charges I believe to cut through that. Now I have a couple of secondaries in here which I'll just quickly grab. Now one coming out of here, make sure that El Rubio's helicopter isn't going to spot you since he will fly over here occasionally. Now I do also believe that there's another secondary place right over there, it's one of those two buildings. So if you have a secondary there, you can go over there and grab it. 
Now I kill that guard and I hop onto the this boat. That boat over there will sometimes spawn, but not every time. This boat always spawns. Now we can just hold to the left. Make sure you stay to the left, otherwise guards will spot you. Now there's a guard right here who you can kill. You don't have to kill him, it just makes it easier and make sure the guards won't get alerted. Now we hold control to get out of here as quickly as possible and you will have completed the KO Perico heist finale. Now if you want to do the replay glitch, I do have another video on that which will be linked in the card. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you all for the next one. Bye!